Hey fellow Voltaires, it's a great turtle, and as I know you like to keep you up to date, what is my main build, therefore I'm gonna do that as I was doing some changes into my build and I will keep you up to date, what I'm using, what I like the most, what's my playstyle and what's currently equipped under my pair cards and I will do my best to do not overstretch this video, hopefully. Then let's start with legendary perks, of course I'm a tank, I'm power armor build and taking one for the team, extra luck, sizzling style, I, I like this extra fire resistance, it's not necessary though, if you have like one piece of power armor with fire resistance you're probably about good, extra endurance, extra intelligence and electric absorption, this is OP for power armor, as you know, not only this perk regenerate your fusion core, but as well heals you, then yeah. It's not in the description, but it does that. Uh, now, before we start into the perks, I have a couple loadouts, basically daily tank. Uh, this is my loadout when I need to go into daily op and tank a lot of damage. You can see the perks in here. I will only discuss further the perks that I have equipped on my daily driver, but I think you can, you can get this riddle and figure out what are the perks equipped on other loadouts, but I will show you the basics special distribution for all those loadouts then. Daily tank, this is the special distribution. Then we have daily driver special distribution. That's what I'm using the most, that's why it's daily driver. And infiltrators the special distribution because I'm not using the legendary perk to pick the logs anymore. Then I have this loadout when I need to pick the logs. As you can see, main difference in here as well, it doubles as a team focus build, as I have higher charisma here and healing with friendly fire. And just a quick note in here, uh, exception to the rule, as I shouldn't discuss all loadouts as it will be too long, but friendly fire works on friendly NPC with Molotovs, only with Molotovs. Yeah, that, that's worth to mention because card says something different, but yeah, you can toss Molotovs on friendly NPC to heal them. And now my base build, Daily Driver. Uh, here what I have, only rank 2 blocker, because not enough points under strength, but I figure for daily day use, everyday use, rank 2 is enough. For my tank build, I have rank 3, that's the difference. And some heavy gunner perks, Ornans Expert, I'm carrying everything on this build, I will show you guys. I'm carrying absolutely everything. I give up on frequent carry weight management. I have almost all stuff that I can pick up then. Ornans Express, Bandolier, uh, more heavy gunner perks, Basher perk to use my heavy gun shredder, I mean mini gun shredder, and more carry weight. Traveling Pharmacy, Perception, quality of light stuff to find more magazines, bubble heads and pick up more flora when needed. Endurance, this is tanking as purely more HP, plus chem friend. I like to use chems, I use them frequently, then duration for me is really good, fireproof for tankiness and extra carry weight thanks to radical, plus more damage with shredder minigun than yet, it's need to be in here. Under Charisma, Inspirational, Strength in Numbers, Tenderizer, that's like standard setup that almost everyone is using. Uh, someone is sharing strange numbers. Next, intelligence, stabilized for damage, batches included for even more carry weight. Demo expert, I like this extra damage with explosive. When needed, I will swap it with a gunsmith. Scrapper, yeah, you'd want this still when you scrap weapons and armor. And first aid for extra tankiness. After that, under agility. Oh, and I have no nerd rage in here as I stop bothering with getting exactly under 20% health. I'm running around 30% half and I'm fine. I, I don't bother anymore on my daily driver, but I stopped. Uh, under agility I have through hiker, bone survival, adrenaline, and even if you are bloody built, especially if you are around 30% health, is perfect. Because it will trigger exactly when it's supposed to. It works if you are at 20% health as well, but you can burn some extra stims. Then if you are a little bit higher, it's easier adrenaline for damage and luck, important one. Ricochet in here to make you even more immortal. Class Freak. Class Freak is, I, I always have, as I have a lot of mutations and it's super helpful if you have a lot of mutations. Uh, good with salt. Yeah, I want my food to last. Star genes to keep mutations. 
curator and quite often I'm using those bubble heads. As you can see, I have perks to pick up bubble heads and magazines and then I'm using them. Therefore, yeah, double duration is good. And one can army mainly if I need to cripple a limp of Scorch Beast Queen and as well for Shredder Minigun to help keep enemies in bay. Now the mutations themselves, and this is my standard setup, I didn't touch it then, it's Adrenal Reaction, Bell Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Empath, Herbivore, Herd Mentality, Marsupial, Scully Skin, Speed Demon, and that's a perfect setup for like almost every heavy gunner, and yeah, I keep using it, I like it a lot, I didn't change it for quite a while, and I will continue, then yeah, this is what I recommend. Empath works as long as you have at least one teammate, it's work on you, then it's always beneficial. Keep it, take it. If you play with team, even random team, keep Empath on. Now about the gear, the most important is power armor, then helmet is with extra intelligence, and it's excavator power armor. That's what I recommend, excavator power armor. More carry weight again, more carry weight. And the one thing that's the most important above all, get a set with weapon weight reduction. If you want to play like me, weapon weight reduction. Even if you cannot afford excavator just yet, it can be mix of any power armor pieces as long as they come with weapon weight reduction, it will work. When you will complete excavator set, then it will be even better because you will get plus 100 to carry weight. Uh, that's my other piece. As you can see, every single piece is weapon weight reduction and it was my priority. The other stars are actually random. Whatever I was able to get, just, just to put weapon weight reduction on every piece. And of course, calibrated shocks for legs, uh, arms mod, not important. And for torso, I'm just swapping whatever I feel like using at this moment. Now I have Tesla coils equipped. Emergency protocols is great too. Tesla coils is good. Then yeah, you have some options there. And I think fight started, then it's time for a demonstration of some weapons that I'm using. As we are at Colossus uh, fight at this moment. Someone drop a nuke then. I will use it for demonstration. And yes, cams that I'm using, if I go into the Colossus fight, Liquid Courage, Psycho Buff. Those two, and if I want to be extra tanky, the food that is super helpful, Tato Salad. If you don't have recipe, Gram Event, Cookout Event starting soon, then yeah, do it, get the recipe. And Gatling Gun, it's basically like... I'm using it sometimes for tagging, saving ammo and destroying mainframe cores in the silo, then that's not everyday use weapon, but... What I'm using the most, I'm using a lot of flamer if I remember to swap a barrel. I didn't this time, then I will not be using it. I'm using my Gatling Plasma quite a lot. I like it because it's cheap ammo, anti-armor faster fire rate in this case. But if you have bloody, that's about the same performance. Then, so you can see it's good for bosses. I'm using it for bosses if I forget ammo for my flamer or if I do not change the barrel on my flamer. Then in that case I'm using this gun. It's, it's quite efficient versus bosses. Even with my build, when it's not min-max for damage, it's fine because I'm not the only one shooting. If you are quite a lot the only one shooting, then maybe you can min-max damage more, but yeah, I don't, I don't really care as much. Uh, next what I'm using else, I, I really like my 50 cal, bloodied faster fire rate, that's for like everyday use, like mobs without winding up, you can see those Wendigos, uh, quite easy, uh, not too much recoil and stuff, you don't need to aim, you, I mean you need to aim, but you don't need to like uh, aim down the sides, you can just hip fire. What is he doing on the ceiling? Not the best for bosses, it does damage, not the best though. Uh, then I would not recommend the 50 cal, certainly for bosses, as Flamer or Gatling Plasma will do better. But for everyday use, I really like it. Uh, next, I have Flamer that's bloodied. It's good. It's as good as anti-armor, then. They interchangeable, like another Gatling Plasma. Uh, final word, that's almost as good as bloodied, then I recommend that too. Uh, Two-shot broad cider for farming ammo. Yeah, I have it in here, although I only carry like two cannonballs on me to start up on daily op when I want to farm ammo from cannonballs. Uh, what else I'm using? Sometimes I like to use my two-shot grenade launcher. It's really cool, especially 
for flying creatures like Scourge Beast, as grenades follow. If you don't know, check my video about two-shot grenade launcher. A two-shot explosive minigun. This is a tagging beast. I need to remove the shredder as I'm getting confused with my other minigun that I'm using with a shredder to shred enemies without ammo. This one is with ammo for mass tagging on big events, two-shot explosive. It's a tagging beast. I will not kill anything and I will tag everything. That's meant perfect for team play. Uh, next, that's the legacy. Rarely in used. Sometimes I'm using to tag enemies, but as it's legacy no longer available, I try to minimize use of these weapons. I have Vampire 50 Cal. Uh, I like to occasionally use Vampire Caster. It's quite cool if I want to use something in VATS. And that's the beast when I don't have ammo. Vampire Minigun. It will be better if it will go with bash damage, but faster fire rate, I cannot complain. It's good anyway. It doesn't affect bashing though. Uh, where is Air, oh, Air Williams? Is somewhere underground. Get out, Air Williams. Where are you? Okay, we lost Air Williams. I think it will be a bad fight. He sink underground when I'm recording. That's a bad luck. That's a bad luck, really, because last couple Air Williams, I had a full success without him hiding. But okay, let's continue then. A discussion about the gear under my power armor. Although now. I'm rarely exiting it, but I still recommend you to have full set of unyielding whatever armor. Full set of whatever unyielding if you need to trade at vendors, if you need to pass a speed check or something like that. And I have two pieces. Oh, enemies are here. Let's shoot something. I mean, shoot, grind. See that? No armor required. And especially good in third person, as in third person you can jump and it will not stop spinning. If you jump with the minigun in first person, it will stop doing damage. As you can see, even on bosses, it's good. It can be better, like if you want to maximize damage, you would be looking for something like anti-armor bash damage minigun and put shredder. And I have this one because I have cool healing. I cannot be killed as long as I'm hitting with this minigun, no matter what I'm fighting. Then that's really good. And we are close enough that I think I can use flamer. I will show you my flamer. The problem is, I have cool skin for it. The problem is, if I forget to swap the barrel to standard and back to long, I need to be really close to him in order to do damage. But as you can see, I can. Oh. He was hiding underground for so long that my my alcohol expired. I'm not brave anymore. But anyway, you can see Flamer, like, that's the best damage output. You just need to remember to change the barrel. Otherwise, I need to stand in perfect distance in order to hit him. But with this cool skin, uh, and I will show you how this skin looks in first person. It's a little bit too big, like you can see the first person, if you aim, it's like covering 90% of the screen. But it's so cool that I'm not giving up on this skin. It's super cool. About power armor skins and other skins, of course, you use whatever you like, to be absolutely honest with you. There is like no requirements. And do we have him? Do we have him? Almost, almost, yeah, successful, okay. Luckily, he wasn't hiding underground for full duration of the fight. <laughs> then we could. We got it still like 10 minutes. Then, oh. Can I quickly swap for tagging? TSC minigun. That's what I'm using for tagging. Look at that. You see? That's why it's for tagging. I can cover like entire play area in, in, in one moment. And then whoever kills enemies, I will get experience. That's, that's why this is for tagging. Uh, next, if I sometimes need to heal a little bit of radiation, I have those two pieces. Uh, RR basically means in this case radiation regeneration. As I, I keep two pieces with slowly regen radiation damage, why not in combat? When I have it equipped, I just step up out from my power armor for like a minute or so and I will heal a little bit of radiation. That's important if I want to stay exactly at Nerd Rage. 
Hey, other than that, it's not necessary. But if you want to aim for this exact nerd rage without too much work, adding rats, removing rats, then this is perfect because it's removing rats very slowly. Then that's easy to fit exactly where you need it. And you can see my resistances here have quite a lot of resistance on about everything. It's excavation, therefore 300 energy, 300 ballistic. But trust me, you don't. Don't need more. What matter more than those, it's poison resistance. Only one piece on me. I would love to find another one, but... Yeah, weapon weight reduction. More important than anything else. What are you doing here? As you can see, it's not the best at killing. But yeah. Now I kill him without ammo. I didn't know they will still spawn. Oh wait, someone needs help. Oh, oh. oh, he's fine. Okay. Don't know why he was showing that he needs help. Right, I kill some. I kill some Wendigo. Is it everything that I should tell you? Oh, not everything. I will show you my inventory. But we are going out from the mine. Bash damage to shot cryo later. Not exactly what I need, but... Okay, I guess I will take that. And now my inventory. This is a weapon tab. That's why I have so much carry weight. I don't even need any more perks to reduce the weight of my heavy guns. So I have enough carry weight with this set. And look at that. Some random junk that I'm carrying on me. Under armor, some random stuff apart from my stuff. Uh, apparel, whatever I collected. Food and drink. You can see in here, I have like almost everything. Everything. I'm not cooking very often. When I cook, I cook a lot of stuff for myself. Then I just use it. Under 8, huge collection because, yeah, I like it. I like to have some stuff for later, including ingredients for crafting and stuff like glowing blood to sell to vendors when necessary. And you can still see I have 280 weight out of 480 then i still can carry 200 pounds more of stuff then that helped me so much to do not micromanage my inventory as you can see i have stuff everywhere i have stuff everywhere a lot holotypes doesn't wait i have some random plants i do not need to drop it often because why if you have carry weight that's why i love it some junk uh, and ammo like a mix of everything under ammo um, course, not course. A good thing is with all this ammo carry weight stuff, I use my ammo exchanger less often and I exchange higher amount at once. What's really so helpful. I like this update to my build. I, I regret a little bit dropping Master Infiltrator from Legendary Perks, but I guess I will live without it. I just need to get used to Swap the loadout for the one with Picklock and Hacker. And guys, I think that will be everything in regards to my build and update. I think I show you all the stuff that I have. If I miss something, my apologies. And I had no time to actually add my loadouts into Nukes and Dragons to build planner. Therefore, if you need it, you'll need to copy what I show you, like post or screenshot, or maybe someone will put it into Nukes and Dragons and post a comment with a link. Uh, that will work too. Anyway, that will be everything for this video, everyone. Thank you a lot for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.